And hello YouTube, this is GS Man with Smart, and I'm going to a brand new video for tutorials in GS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at GIMP and how to create your own custom fire text. It's basically a piece of text where you want to add a fire effect to it and make it look like your text is on fire. Very easy to do, and we're going to show you how to do that today on GIMP. So the first thing we're going to do is create an image canvas. So go up to File, click New, and we're going to do a 1280 by 720. It's always a good size to use. And then we're gonna grab our text tool here. Make sure that make sure that your background color is black. If it's white like this, grab your paint bucket tool here. Change the foreground color to black, and then just uh, press the background here. It'll turn black. And then we're gonna grab our text tool here and make sure your text color is white like that. And we're just gonna go ahead and type YouTube. Always a good sample text. Pick a relatively large size. Let's do 125, maybe 150, 150 is good. I don't really like this font, so we're going to change our font size to something a bit more bulky. Bulkier fonts tend to do very well if you're making custom effects, so you always want to pick a relatively bulky font. Um, what can we use here? So we're going to use this font right here, and it's a bit small, so we're going to make this 200 like that which is fine and we're gonna go back to our layers here now and we're gonna grab our text we're gonna center if you want to center align it you can click the alignment tool here and you can press the layer and then you could center it uh, up and middle left and right and then we have it there so now that we have that the goal is to create our own flames now, if you want to create your own flames, what you're going to need to do is grab your uh, smudge tool here. And what you also want to do with this layer here, with this text layer, right click it and click layer to image size. So it's the same size as your background layer. Now on the left side here, uh, your size will depend on how big your text is. So uh, pick a relatively smaller size than your text because we're going to be doing some smudge work on this. Uh, these last two values you can keep at zero zero uh, your rate you want to have at 75 and under dynamic options here you want to have your fade length set to 100 you also make sure you have your spacing here now I have my spacing on the right side here this should be your brush uh, dialog box if you don't have your brush dialog box you can go to windows dockable dialogs and you can go to brushes which is right here and this happens to be mine make sure your spacing is set to one and for the type of brush you want to pick a fuzzy type of brush so perhaps something like this this fuzzy type of brush here where it's not too hard and then we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna change our size accordingly you can also use your brackets the left bracket and the right bracket to change the size of the brush and perhaps something like yeah something like that's just about fine and then what you're going to want to do is here where you, here's where the real creativity comes into play for each of these letters you're going to want to sort of make this cloudy sort of so you can just you know do something like that and you can make it very chaotic you know if you take a look at fire fire tends to be very chaotic as well near the top you want to add some flame effects maybe something like that and, you know just try to smudge this a bit move it left and right a bit like so try not to smudge it too much so that you lose so that you lose the uh the letter because if no one can recognize the letter then that's also not too great but you know try to Try to get the flames coming off pretty good at the top here. Like so, perhaps. Uh, maybe that's a bit too smudgy. Uh, you basically want to have it look very cloudy for the... You want to have it look cloudy like so. For the base, for the base letter right here, you want to have it look a bit cloudy. So just move left and right here. Like just going like that. You want to be careful near the edges because if you if you do go too crazy on the edges, you might get some of the black mixed in. So something like that, perhaps. You see how this letter looks very cloudy now. So like so, and then near the top or near the sides, if you want, you can add 
some nice type of flamey thing going on. Once again, you don't want to over exaggerate too much. You want to look, make it look very natural. So maybe something like that. And maybe something like that. And then you basically do the same thing with the other ones. With the O here, you want to go and make it look very cloudy here. So we're just going to go left and right here. Sort of go in a little circle around here. And I know that right now it just looks white. We're going we're gonna to add a color filter on top of this to make it look like fire. And you see, if you mess up Control z and same thing here, we're going to try to make it look like fire a bit here like so and yeah like that maybe and you just go across all the letters so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this up real quick and then i'll be back when it's done all right so here we go here's the finished result now i did notice that if you were to use a smaller brush size an even smaller brush size for example if i go even smaller than this uh you can actually get really detailed with some of the uh, flames here you can get a lot more detail. So if you want to get even more detail to make it look perfect, basically, you can use a smaller brush size. You can really go into the fine the fine details here and make it look a lot better. But that's all up to you. Now, the next thing we're going to have to do is right click our top layer here and click merge down. So this is one layer. You want to make sure this is one layer because it's not if it's not one layer, it's not going to work. Uh, so then we're going to go to colors, color balance. Now for your shadows, you're going to go 100 in red. We want all the reds. We're going to go 30 in green to get some yellows in there. And for blues, we're going to go negative 30. Then for your mid-tones, we're basically going to get the same thing. We're going to go 100, and then we're going to go 30, and then we're going to go negative 30. And then for your highlights, we're going to go 100 in red. We're going to go 0, and we're going to go negative 100 here. And so 100 in red for green, we're going to go 0 and we wanna have all the yellow here. So negative 100 and you press okay. And there is your fire text effect. Like I said, the, the, the most of the work is in the brush work. After that, it's merely just adding a adding a uh, color filter on top of it. Now, if you didn't want the black and you just wanted the texture, what you can do is go up to layer, then go to transparency, then press color to alpha and make sure you have black selected. So we're gonna select black like so, and then press okay. And you'll basically get only the fire text. So if you just wanted to use this fire text and put it on top of a background, you can then have it like that with the alpha chain on the background, you can save this. That's pretty much how it's done. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully you understood it. Any questions, comments, any confusions you have, go ahead and leave in the comment section down below. I'll definitely down there answering any questions you have. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. Plenty of other GIMP tutorials on the channel. And if you like this video or like them other videos, you can always donate $8 to my Patreon page. Anything as low as that is always very helpful and very much appreciated. All you got to do is click the card in the top right-hand corner of the screen, and it'll bring you to the page. I also have a gaming channel, advice channel, vlogging channel, and music channel. If you want to check those out, links in the description, as well as on the end card. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. As always, this is GSMR Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.